Good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. How are you? Hopefully you enjoyed uh, yesterday's Dr. Dreadful Lab. I actually have like 25 minutes of footage of Austin making brains and barf and stuff. What's going on, guys? Just listen to the news this morning. Uh, there's a young guy, like 25, and his girlfriend who killed some old people and stole their stuff. And then they went to Wendover, which is scary. Because this is a national news, and they carjacked a chick in Wendover and... Shot her in the back of the head when she tried to drive away. She's not dead. She's in critical condition up at the U. But that's scary. Stephanie and I are supposed to go to Wendover this weekend. But they found him out in the middle of the desert. And the guy's in jail. And the girl's in the hospital or something like that. So that's scary, scary stuff. Also, uh, the Jazz won last night. The Jazz are 3-3. Three and three, So they've got a 500 record. Which I don't think is going to last very long. Because the Utah Jazz... You guys know that I'm hardcore Jazz fans. If you guys... I've watched for the last few years or over a year. You know that we used to be really hardcore jazz fans. Two seasons ago, I went to 38 out of 41 home games. I was a hardcore jazz fan. Then they got rid of Boozer, and then Jerry Sloan quit, and then Darren Williams left, and now Karolinko's gone, and O'Kerr's gone, and pretty much everybody's gone. It's all new. Devin Harris and, I mean... Millsat's been around for a while. That's about it, though. Everybody else is new as of, like, the last two years. And I don't expect them to do very well. But maybe maybe they'll pull one out. They are a young team, and it is a short season. Anyway, I'm going to go into work. Not sure what I'm doing for lunch. Hopefully today is payday. Uh, I do have the radio control cars, but I don't know if we're going to do that or not. That's the new body that uh, John gave me. It's a Nissan Silvia. And it paints a little sketchy, because John painted it in an interesting fashion, but I put the numbers on there. Anyway, uh, we'll talk to you at lunch. Okay, I can't see you. Hi. Make sure you're looking at it. Austin's going back to school today. School, school, yeah. School, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice song. You be a good boy? Can have fun? Yeah? Good morning, everybody. I am off to work as well. I'm working 10 hours today, which, meh. We'll be good, though. Um, I start school next week, and I was just looking at what I need to do to uh, transfer, transfer schools when I'm done with this one. It's so much. I have to have it all done by March 1st. However, good news. March 3rd, me and my sisters are going to Vegas. Woo! Girls weekend, which will be awesome. We all need that. And, yeah, it's just going to be a back-to-normal kind of day, which is a little bit weird after all the fun we had yesterday. What up, homies? It is lunchtime. Uh, just coming back. Went to the hobby shop with Jer, Brando, or no, just Jer and Morley. I bought a new battery, which is exciting. Jer got new gears for his servo because he stripped his other servo. And Morley bought a sweet new drift car. He bought the HPI Bon Gittin Jr. Mustang drift car. Four-wheel drive. Sick body on it. Super exciting. So tomorrow we're going to be drifting two cars at once. My car versus his. Going to be exciting. Um, got a meeting. Got some Carl's Jr. to eat before my meeting. Super excited. Hola amigos. So, thought I'd put this in the video. I've been driving radio control cars a lot lately. I got Jer super excited about it. He's got his truck going. And he wants to build. And he wants to do all this fun stuff. If you guys still haven't checked out the video we made the other day, go to youtube.com forward slash there's Gabe RC, and it's the top video. It's one that we made on New Year's Eve, and it's super awesome. But then today, Morley bought a HPI E10 drift spec, whatever. It's cool. It's a Mustang with a monster body. Super sweet looking. So I today bought this. This battery. Normally a battery that you would buy for your radio control car looks like this, probably not as beat up. This is called a nickel metal hydride. When I was a kid driving radio control cars, all the batteries were nickel cadmium. And nickel cadmium are very picky. If you charge them before they were completely dead, they wouldn't get a full charge ever again. If you ran it before you charged it the first time, you'd have issues. Over time they wear out and they really were a pain in the butt. Well few years back, maybe eight, ten years, about eight years ago, is when nickel metal hydrides became popular. And nickel metal hydrides didn't have those crappy qualities. They didn't have a memory, as it's called in the battery world. It didn't have a memory, so you could charge them whenever you wanted to, and you were good to go. However, 
with a nickel metal or a nickel cadmium battery, as soon as you start to draw off of that, it's going to drop. So each battery is made up of six batteries. These are like C cells, and there's six of them, and each one's 1 1.2 volts, so this is a 7.2 volt battery pack. And that's a Traxxas connector. Um, just a brand, and it's a high current connector, better than the old school crappy connectors. But, so, as soon as you start drawing off of it, it goes down from that 7.2 volts to, say, even three minutes into it, you're only getting 6.9 volts or less, and then it just eventually falls on its head. Longer the MAH, the higher number the MAH or milliamp hours, the longer that battery's going to last. So this is a 5,000. That's super high, super good. Then, like three, four years ago, they came out with what's called a LiPo or lithium polymer. Lithium polymer battery, such as this one, usually they don't look like this. This one's actually made special to fit in smaller cars, such as the Mini or such as my drift car. There's the new body that Morley gave me. I put some stickers on it. But uh, this one's meant to fit, but they still come in a 2S, 3S, or 4S. And what that means is to sell. So it has two 3.7 volt cells. So this is a 7.4 volt. But LiPo's, how they work, is they flat. So you're at 7.4 volts until at the very end it'll drop on its head. So you get a solid 7.4 current, and then all of a sudden you'll just see the car go and die. And at that time you really need to stop if you don't have a LiPo cutoff, which a lot of my stuff does have LiPo cutoff. This car doesn't have LiPo cutoff, because the speed control is actually from like 1995. This was the world champion back in 95, and this motor's old as turd as well. This is out, if you guys remember that time when I went to Swamp Meet when I bought that big red box over there, and uh, Got all that stuff. This was actually in there. I sold the rest of it for way more than I paid for it, but this was in there. And so, this is my new LiPo battery, and it is insane. It's way more powerful than a 7.2 volt, and it gives you full power until it falls on its head. Sorry to bore you guys with radio control car stuff, but that's what I've really been up to lately. I've got the drift tires on there, got my street tires there. John Morley gave me these sweet street tires. These are HPI X type street type tires and now he now that he bought his new car he wants them back so i guess i'll hesitantly give him his tires back even though he gave them to me whatever but uh i've got my street tires so i should be fine these are quite grippy and quite good tires though and uh i've got new tires that i just want on ebay which were a good deal coming for the mini they should be here by next week which is super exciting because this battery will also fit in the mini and it's going to make it run super fast investigate i hear giggling to the point of screams in here <laughs> what is happening in here they took me to that you okay <laughs> you hear him in here giggling to the point of screaming what would you do to him i'm not touching him anymore i was tickling him <laughs> can you giggle thanks for watching the vlog see you tomorrow Yeah.